Ooh, little switch up. Not the Dotson this time, but my baby either way. Greetings, salutations, Doughboy Nation. Johnny Allen Supercar Kid here with Johnny D. He's back. This man was in London for a whole semester, but he's back. Back to help us work on some car stuff. Uh, so the Datsun, a uh, quick update, is um, still over here <laughs> because it's still not starting, but we're working on that. But today, focusing on this because I gotta get this thing ready to take it up to school. So school just started, we are like, we're like three days in. I'm actually in the middle of the week, it's Wednesday, so I'm driving back from school to work on this and then trying to get it up there tonight. So we gotta change a few things on this to make it really roadworthy, being this clutch slave cylinder right here, the one that's in there is kind of like mushy and it feels like I'm stepping on mashed potatoes. And and then I have a clutch hose right here, a braided clutch hose, uh, both very cheap. It shouldn't be too hard to do this. I know we got to go get a few things that we don't have here, like clutch fluid, uh, but it shouldn't be too hard. So we just got to jack up the car, uh, get under it, and um, start taking stuff apart. All right. So we're getting under the vehicle. Oh god, okay, it's tight. It's a little tight. Oh, there she blows. And that, my friends, is a clutch slave cylinder. So, we gotta take that Johnny out with two Johnnies. And I uh, gotta take off the gotta take off the clutch line right there. And that goes over and around to the end of the slave cylinder which only has two bolts holding it in, so once we take off the clutch line, slave cylinder should just pop right out, which is fantastic. So it looks like I need some 12 mils, maybe a 13, not sure yet, but uh, yeah, let's start wrenching and see what we can get out of here. Uh, yeah, so they are 12 mils, uh, there's only really three bolts, and then we gotta take off the clutch hose on this side somehow. And then we'll just put everything back together and then they, the heat shielding just goes back onto the new clutch line. So it's really not too complicated. It's really pretty simple. The hard part's going to be bleeding it, probably, as that requires two people. We're going to just wrench this out and get this done quick. I'm not going to film this part too much. There's a lot of other stuff that I got to do today. All right, so uh, we're not done yet. <laughs> uh, so we got to remove this little retaining clip, uh, which uh, apparently is a bitch and um, the old one's still in there. We gotta set up this one. Now we're gonna use the stock insulation plus a little bit of extra heat wrap that I have to insulate that line, but we gotta get that clip out and the rest of the slave cylinder out still. Um, it's gonna be a process. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I'm gonna just set you guys down and um, we're just gonna wrench at this because we wanna get this and mount the wing done today. Uh, I don't know about, about anything else, but so, we're gonna get at this. So I've met lots of bitches in my life, many of which have been on my car and in my car. But this was probably the biggest one of all. So this little retainer clip is what holds on the brake line. Let's look at the, if you look at the new brake line, it kind of goes along this like ridge right here. J John is the man. John's the one who figured it out. I, I, I can't take credit. I can't take credit. So, um, here, you explain how we did this. Uh, just like with our fingers, then we tried prying it off with a, like having a screwdriver behind it, pulling it on both ends, pushing on either end. And then we decided, no way, that's not gonna work. We need to like hammer it, but there wasn't enough space for a hammer. So uh, we ended up, <laughs> we use this. <laughs> and uh, crossbar? So, yeah, full crossbar. So we put that on the end of a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. like, so, and, and then that. hammered this end, and it, it came out. Here, hold this and show them how we did that, that part. So we put it like this. And, and then yeah, and that clip was just like inside of the, the screwdriver. I guess it was, it was this way. Oh gosh. <laughs> so yeah, it was like this way. And then we hammered from that side over there, and then that just pushed the clip right out. And then voila. Voila, dude. It looks like it, I don't know if this like bent a little bit. Y'all like, y'all see it's kind of like. No, I think in the video it's bent a little bit. Oh, so okay, like, okay. Because if, you know, it's tension, then it's gonna go down to flat. You know, it's like this. Yeah, it's yeah, true. All right, so now that we got this out, now we can get this guy in. Um, but first we gotta insulate this. So let's do that quick and then. All right, so 
Uh, in case you guys didn't know already what Johnny D drives, it's that. <laughs> this gorgeous 2016 BRZ, which um, we went to, to go check out like in uh, August. And uh, yeah, this thing's nice. It's like raining on us right now, but whatever. Got to get these beauty shots quick. Cause this thing is freaking beautiful. All these mods, by the way, came with it. Bought the car with all, all this stuff. I don't think. Oh yeah, and he's gonna let me drive. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's a close proximity, damn. 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 I want you to know, this, you have quite the whip. Quite the whip. Yeah. Jeez. Oh man. I haven't driven past it. At all? <laughs> oh man. He did the one time when we when we got it. But that was a lot of work. Uh we're very sweaty now. Uh so we're gonna eat food because we haven't had lunch yet and I didn't even have breakfast. So we're gonna get food, then come back, insulate that bitch, and then install that bitch. By the way, here's the old one. Now it doesn't really look bad, but uh, actually, actually no. This is, <laughs> this is this is actually pretty terrible. Notice how it stayed compressed like that, like that. <laughs> and it just peed on my free my my freezer, but uh, yeah. So that's not good. Uh, thank God we're replacing that with this brand spanking new one. One quick tip I just heard is to wrap a uh, zip tie around this to make sure that that this boot never comes loose. But uh, yeah, so this. Looks fantastic. So while we're out, we're gonna get some more clutch fluid. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need that. And um, I'm gonna make sure that we don't need to buy anything to bleed this. If we do, then we'll buy that. Uh, and then also, if maybe now, maybe later, uh, get hardware for this um, so we can reinstall the wing. It looks installed, but it's not installed. By the way, if you didn't notice, I did paint. Uh, the hardware, so that's like green right there and everything. You know, it's cool. It's cool. So, <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna go. Bye. <laughs> now, dare I say this? Dare I say the BRZ is the greatest modern sports car of our time? It's the perfect platform for every mod ever. I mean, like maybe not ever, but like if you want a wide body, wide body, or you know upgrades the internals you're good this is like the perfect car i was watching a review one time and they said this is uh like the i guess a poor man's porsche so it like handles just like a porsche so i thought that was pretty cool and that exhaust note bro that exhaust note is nice this is like subarus have the nicest sounding four cylinders i have Facts. ever heard Facts. it just is like you can't argue this guy i mean okay you could argue like S2000, okay, but that revs to like almost 10,000 RPMs. Of course it sounds, anything that revs that high is gonna sound nice. But this is, you can use this as your regular daily commuter, you can use this as your sports car, your race car, yo, WRX going by, you, <laughs> Oh, and the shifter is so solid. Oh, yeah. Like, not gonna lie, it reminds me of my CD, CD or a little bit. I could definitely drive this every day, like, no, no doubt in my head. Chipotle was good, but now really it's good. finally time to change that line. So, if we're right, this clutch line in here should just, uh, oh, yank on out. Old insulation, uh, we're gonna wrap it in that, plus some new stuff, but, you know. And then just zip tie it shut. Keep it nice and tight. So the kit that I got comes with a bolt and two whooshers.
we had a bit of an issue with this not uh, like tightening all the way, and then we realized that um, the threads on this are like really, really tight with like not a lot of tolerance because they can't have the clutch fluid seeping out of the bolt. So they're like really, really tight. So it's gonna almost feel like it's misthreading. It could be misthreading, so don't mistake that. But <laughs> it, for us, it uh, was just really hard to tighten it up. So uh, yeah, so eventually we just got it and just tightened it down pretty hard. It's, it's gonna feel tight like from the jump, like you're not gonna be able to finger tighten it all the way down and then tighten it down. But yeah, so that looks pretty good. Uh, let's try to get this back in the car. So I'm giving John a little bit of wrench time, um, since I pretty much had to take all the bolts out. Can you have your goggles so this doesn't get... Sure. <laughs> so, everything's installed, everything bolts up and everything is tight. Uh, I have this in my hand because we have to use, use this on the uh, bleed valve to try to bleed it into a cup. So now I'm going to try to bleed the fluid. I think it should just be as simple as put this on the bleed valve, got to crack it to the left, pump the thing a few times, add a little bit of brake fluid, which we got. And uh, that should be about it. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna get started on that. It's not really a crazy process. You guys can watch someone else do it. We're just gonna get this done quick because we gotta go. We got we don't have a lot of time because we still got you know like homework and stuff and things like that to do. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Ain't got no time for that. So uh, we may have put it in backwards. We're gonna find out. So the clutch line is like a certain way because the end of it's inked a certain way. This one feels like pink away. Well, we are reading, uh, we might, uh, we're gonna find out. We're gonna check. Tell me. Tell me that. So, after taking everything apart and putting it back together again, we can now confirm that we had it right the first fucking time. Basically all we do, I think we have to pour a little bit of fluid in the top. Uh, he, just, he was just gonna hit the clutch pedal. Uh, what, gonna... Like ten times. Yeah, ten times. turn it to let it out of the bubbles. Yeah. Then we'll do that whole system like three times. Yeah. Sounds good. It should be. It should be. So, let's do it. Let's freaking do it. so good so it's time it's time to test it we got pressure we got pressure we think it's fully pressurized it feels normal well boys she moved she's out of the garage she shifts Johnny B got the driver for the first time I didn't film it sorry about that you mean second time oh, second time you're right second time it is way too dark for you guys to see, but she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's out here in the flesh, and she's about to be on my school campus, and I am so excited about that. Dang, man, this thing is coming back in a whole new form. But anyways, slave cylinder is in, clutch hose is in, everything's in, and everything works. Like, I... I can never, like guys, I want you to know, every time I do one of these installs, like I don't have any previous experience. I use YouTube, I don't know what I'm doing until I'm doing it. Uh, me and John are both engineering majors, but we're, it's not like we have any kind of like special skills. Uh, we were troubleshooting and doing all this stuff, getting so like worried and yeah, it was it was a whole roller coaster of emotions just doing a clutch slave cylinder install. Ah, oh, damn, dude! I'm just I'm, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. This car this car makes me happy. It makes me so happy. I love it to death. Oh, and I'm glad that all you guys who do watch my videos uh, are here to experience that happiness with me. So, on that note, guys, 
I gotta drive this up to school. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end this in the school parking lot. Either it's gonna go in the school parking lot or on the side of the road. One or the other, but one of those. All right. Hopefully next time I see you guys, I'm at school, not on the side of the road. But you don't know until the next five seconds. So, ready? Five, four, three. Boys, we are here. We're gonna ride. Ooh, we're gonna ride. Damn. So, I gotta unpack the stuff. And stuff. But hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around. Um, that's pretty much all I got. The car made it. I, I will admit the clutch got a bit squishy towards the end, but I don't think it's gonna stick to the ground. I probably just need to bleed it again. I probably just develop some air while I was driving because it got hot and everything like that. So I probably just need to do one more bleed. It'll be fine, I hope anyway. But um, yeah, that's it from me. So boys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you appreciate the vibes, leave a subscribe, leave a like if you'd like, and uh, I guess until the next stream, guys. Until the next stream. Peace out.